Epic. What's up, Money Geeks? Mr. V here. Welcome to another video, guys. So, in today's video, we are going to do a recap of Neo Day. So, kind of give you guys an update and talk about some of the things that were unveiled on Neo Day and how this is going to impact the price of the stock as well as the direction of the company moving forward. So, that's what we're going to cover in today's video. I have four key things that I want you guys to be aware. But before we get started, guys, if you're new to the channel, we talk about how to earn money, how to save money, how to invest and build wealth. So, if that's something that interests you, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and any notification belt so you don't miss out on new content. So Neo Day came and passed and it wasn't a disappointment. As a matter of fact, they actually gave us a lot more things to start looking forward to than I actually anticipated. Some of the stuff that they actually put out there is stuff that we were aware of. So for instance, the fact that they were gonna unveil their new uh, Neo ET7, which is their version of uh, the sedan that would compete against Tesla in China. So I think that was pretty cool. Um, the unveiling looked good. The car looks good uh, design looks good um, not very disappointing um, as a matter of fact I think they could have done better with the front of their uh, they did sedan but I mean I'll take it there's still room there for a ton of improvement so um, I mean I'm not gonna complain a lot because I'm not gonna be driving it anytime soon but again I, I like the look of the car so that's the first thing and we knew that was coming um, Neil went ahead and did a um, Three other things that I think is really driving the direction of the company. The first one is that they unveiled their new battery pack. So they're going from their 100 kilowatts per hour battery pack to a new and improved 150 kilowatts per hour battery pack, which is awesome. And here's how this one is very significant because the new cars that you see today for Neo, some of them will come with that. If you, depending on how much you're willing to pay, will come with that battery pack. But existing Neo cars, you can definitely go and swap your battery for an upgraded battery. And to me, this is what distinguishes these guys from Tesla, because Tesla doesn't have that capability. If you buy a Tesla model today, uh, whatever battery comes with it, that's what you get until you upgrade and buy a new car with a better battery. But for Neil, you keep your car, you drive into one of their, their battery swap stations, they, they take out your, your battery, which is maybe 100 kilowatts uh, per hour battery pack, and replace it with one that's 150. 50 kilowatts per hour battery pack. How is this significant? If you drive just around the cities and you don't drive a longer distance, you don't need the 150 kilowatts per hour battery pack if you're just driving around the city. But if you want to do a road trip, go a longer distance, and then you can go swap your battery and take the 150 uh, kilowatts per hour battery pack so you can drive longer distance. To me, I think that is significant. And then like, the fact that you can also swap it uh, for your cars in it doesn't matter which one if you have neo either one of their sedans or you have uh, one of their suvs you can swap the battery so you, you keep your car but you can keep swapping the battery to get an uh, improved battery which will keep you going i think that to me that's brilliant so the third thing that they actually uh, unveiled was their a uh, neo autonomous driving feature which they actually partner with qualcomm and uh, as well as nvidia to kind of build it so uh, lee actually mentioned the fact that their system system is seven times faster than Tesla FSC. I don't have any proof of that. That was his claim. So I'm just going to, I'm just telling you what he mentioned. And so I would have to really take a look at that to make sure that, you know, that those claims are true. And then the other thing that he actually unveiled was the second generation battery swap station. So uh, you guys know very well, I've talked about uh, Neo battery swap here on the channel a lot, because I think it's something that's very, very important. It's a feature that people take for granted. Um, so the battery, the second generation battery swap station, again, more improved and it's all uh, hands-free so you go the car will pack itself into the battery swap station and the, the system would take out the battery based depending on what you're looking for if you're just looking to recharge it will replace your current battery with a, with a recharge battery if you're looking to upgrade your battery it will replace it with an upgraded version of the battery hands-free which I think is phenomenal so Neo second generation battery swap station is just amazing again like i said the way it works is that the car would pull up back itself you don't have to do anything it just you know it would park and then look at that it's just sweet and then the system is going to come in swap the battery put in the battery that you paid for and then you know the car pull out you get in and you're off you know to where whatever where you're going which i think is just this is just amazing um this is really making tesla 
look a little bit you know slow in my my personal opinion and this system is tough that they can actually do now and start providing the service to other companies in my personal opinion so i think this is just an amazing amazing feature that new has that the competition none of them have so see how similar that is it takes about three minutes for this whole swap station to come and replace it and again it's fully autonomous like there's nobody there sitting waiting or touching anything you pull up it just looks at your battery and gives you a fully charged battery boy this is i mean this is just amazing in my personal opinion if you can see so then the, the, the other thing that i want you guys to be aware of the fact too is that um neo right now from a business standpoint is currently only in china they only operate in china um neo hasn't started exploring other markets so by the time neo starts exploring other markets in this case they're talking about expanding to europe first so uh, if you look at the competition again with with somebody like tesla tesla is currently in the united states uh it's in europe as well as is in china neo is only in china and neo hasn't even really exploited the china market neo hasn't even expanded all across China. Imagine that they expand all across China and then start attacking uh, Europe, eventually South America, North America. This company has a huge, huge upside in my personal opinion. Um, again, if you look at it, NIO is operating in China and the fact that the Chinese government is looking after their own companies because if you remember, China didn't really have a reputation for making cars. They were good at manufacturing goods and services, but uh, car manufacturing wasn't one of their things. So the next generation, uh, China is looking to have a name in the space and the space now is electric vehicle and that's why you see the Chinese government is going to back all these companies and give them all the support that they need to thrive in the global economy so that wouldn't surprise me I would see them in Europe they would attack the African market attack South American market even if there's some resistance to get to America America they would eventually be in the United States that's for sure so as far as global uh, trading goes they're gonna be here someday so to me that some of the projections I'm seeing so uh, as I'm doing this video right now Neo is currently trading about $63 uh, Remember, like I said, that after Neo Day, it was Neo was trading above 56, 57. So we got a good a good squeeze here of about four dollars and some change. It went a high of about 50, 65 dollars, almost fifty six dollars, and then pulled back. But again, I see this stock in the next. Uh, for the six months, it should be over $100 based on what these guys are going. So Neo CEO actually said that they're looking at maybe start shipping out their ET7, which you can see here by the end of our, you know, 2021 or the beginning of 2022. So again, we'll see how soon this can happen. If they can push it faster, the better because um, they had a record number of pre-orders already for this and they, they are actually giving incentives to uh, pre exist or to um, pre-orders as well as existing neo customers uh, when you buy they have a ton of incentives in terms of either cash or uh, neo rewards like they call it that you can actually leverage so again guys that is what i'm thinking about neo i am still really really bullish on neo i'm looking neo long term i don't plan as a matter of fact i plan on buying more neo because uh, my three to five year projection for neo is that this stock is currently in the range of 300 to 500 dollars so that's where i see neo neo is probably going to be the dominant uh, force in China and then all the other guys like Lee Auto and uh, x are going to be following behind NEO. So that's again that's my personal speculation because of what I see them doing. This company has expanded already beyond just uh, producing um, electric vehicles. They, they're doing other things that are putting positioning them as a leader in the space. So that's why. So I'm going to be loading up on this and again I have uh, a good amount of uh, position in Tesla and so uh, I add another one in neo and then all the other uh, electric vehicles i might just be playing those to just supplement but these two are going to be my two key plays because i, I like leaders in this space and when you adopt and, and get on board with leaders it's better for you so to me that's the future that i see so let me know in the comment section what do you think did you buy neo are you trading neo or are you holding long term or are you just like up oh, i'm not touching it because it's a chinese company 
trust me some people don't buy neo because they think it's chinese and chinese companies are not the best so again not to your personal decision but let me know again what you are thinking in the comment section and as always guys if you're new to the channel we talk about how to earn money how to save money how to invest and build wealth so if that's something that interests you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new content and also if you're looking to get started with investing webo is currently doing a promotion where if you sign up and deposit a hundred dollars you get four free stocks links in the description below and as always guys always do your homework don't be a greedy savage and stay motivated